How's it going guys, my name is Plixton and today I'm going to be giving you a showcase and a tutorial for the One World Trade Center. I figured that because I gave you guys a showcase, well no, sorry, a tutorial for uh, Two World Trade Center the other day, I thought I should give you the One World Trade Center and also give you as a tutorial. So I'm just going to spend a few minutes showing you around the building so that if you um don't follow the tutorial that well when you are trying to follow it and build it that you can go back to this and uh, take a look at it so to speak so I have no idea when this building was built uh, because district 2 here which is where I am on the map it's uh, at the top top left uh, district 2 is the second oldest but the poorest in terms of planning so <laughs> by that I mean if you look on the map it's all so pushed together but uh, at the same time we've got a lot of this green space here so I'm not gonna waste time with that because in the future we'll come back to district 2 and uh, I'll give you guys proper showcases on some of the stuff here because uh, it does extend quite well and there is quite a lot here but if we go into the building the one thing I do hate about this, and I don't know how I did it, but I don't know if you guys can notice just from me doing this, but the stairwell isn't in the center. I, I, don't, I don't know how I did that. Um, <laughs> I think it's because this building, just when you've got the general idea of how to build it, it literally takes an hour or two at max, and that's putting in the floors as well. Uh, the stairwell, <laughs> you can have that done in about 20 minutes. Uh, floors, they're quite easy once you just get rapid at doing it. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, this building's really easy to do, and that's why I'm going to give you guys a tutorial today. And I've said quite a lot on this, and like I say, uh, I just want to give you guys a general idea of what this building will look like um, if you are struggling to follow the tutorial. Uh, just just in case I don't really know what to say with it so yeah and I'll do some shots at the end like on every showcase that I do to show you guys the building anyway so I'll see you in a second and we'll start the tutorial there alright guys welcome back and we are now going to be doing the tutorial for One World Trade Center so what we're going to be needing for this is stone glowstone glass or ice depending on what you want and snow and slabs and this is for the first part of the video and we'll move into the next section afterwards but uh, what we're going to need to do is we're going to be building a 25 by 25 square and I did uh, some research just to see what other YouTubers have on this and every building that I've seen is practically the same so I'm gonna say I did quite well back when I built my building god knows when I I tried to think of when it was but I just cannot because it was so long ago um, and uh, that building One World Trade Center has actually been a problem for uh, development in District 2 because it's it's kind of centralized and you can't build around it <laughs> which is kind of a pain um, so we're just gonna get our 25 by 25 and hopefully you're doing it as I'm doing this and this first part of the video so easy I mean the entire building is really easy to do so what we're gonna do now is I've dropped my sheet of paper <laughs> we're gonna go up well actually we're gonna sec uh, separate this into blocks of seven and I really need my bar and arrow because there's sheep everywhere. And they always follow you when you hit them. They always come back. I, I, I hate that. They need to turn an, uh, a turn animals bun off on them. Xbox Minecraft. Anyway, so you put a stone there. And we're going to come out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really? Yeah. You're going to die now. <laughs> So I did that wrong. We need a, a space of seven in between them all. So each of them, just count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna do that all the way around the building. Nice and easy. So it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here. And now we can just simply match them up like so. And <laughs> this is like say it's really easy building to do. If you know what you're doing, I've run out of swiftness, and you can just really do it. But um, I would say if you want, if you don't mind about it, and if you're on computer especially, use the ice on this because it it fits it perfectly. But if you're on the Xbox, I suggest using suggest <laughs> using the glass because um, it suits better. But now what we're going to need to do is up to this point here on each of them what we're going to do is wrap a piece we're going to get a stone and just wrap it round on the insides well the inside corners for all four corners up to the first seven boundary and you'll see why in a second okay oh wait now i missed a bit shall we click this xp yeah <laughs> no need for it but you know and we're going to go up now by 15, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 15, <laughs> and just drag it across by the 25 that we set out, and you're going to do that everywhere, and I'm going to do it with you. I need to make this uh, tutorial nice and short, purely because you can mostly get on with it yourselves want to uh, set you going because like I say it's just, it's just so easy I mean um, two World Trade Center I released the other day well from this video if people in the future are watching this I don't know uh, but two World Trade Center is just across the road from here there you go and the reason I'm releasing this a few days after two World Trade Center is because in case someone has built it and they want one world trade center as well they're like making the little uh, park uh, a nice world trade center park so new one i prefer the new one to the old one because mainly because the old one got knocked down or got destroyed is a better word but we're not getting to that um so we need to just get our little cage running around here and this will be the base of One World Trade Center, also known as Freedom Tower. And with this, we are now just going to get our slabs and do this. Now, it was easier when I built this the first time because uh, the building um, physics on Minecraft on the Xbox would just let you simply do that, but you can't do that anymore. Which is better, I will say it's better, because uh, I really wanted that for a while, but for this, but it's not not great. Although, if I had done it like this. So what we need to do now is just layer our glass with our stone, like this. And you, you can actually just do glowstone all the way up, it doesn't really matter. But uh, it looks better with the strips, because if we go away in a second, we can see in between the slabs. It does this, and I'm gonna cut after we've done this part. Well, no, actually, I'll do the glass first. Nice and easy on that. Um, so yeah, with this, you can see it just does like an open, a close, and open, a close. It just has a bit more effect. Now, can I? Yeah, if you if you do this, there you go. It's easier building. Building skills with Plixton, and then he can't build. <laughs> there you go. So, now, if you do that on these the corner parts where we have the bits of the stone which would represent concrete sticking out everywhere, and you don't do these bits here, not yet anyway, you can do them in a second. And, and ducks. I'm going to throw away the ice and we're going to pull out the barn arrow. And viewer discretion advised as we just shoot these. Right, so now what we're going to do is on all the middle parts we're going to get our glass and we're just going to go up by four 
and then do the same thing that we were doing over here so once you've done all this you can just wrap around on the one two three four fifth layer so if you have your fifth layer of glowstone or stone just wrap it around the entire building and continue doing the same stripey pattern because it's just that easy so yeah basically what we do here is get your stone slabs and do that and that will go all the way up so all it does for these middle bits is adds a bit of light in the lobby and a bit of glazing just makes it look a bit more detailed and what we can do is on the front just um, take away this glass and there are two ways to do it if we can find a door I'll get rid of the stone slabs we can either place down snow, I prefer to have snow on the bottom, we can either have it, nah, we'll do from the inside because it'll look better. Why is that not working? Oh there we go. <laughs> uh, we can either have it like that, just nice and open with this and pretend that there's fittings on the glass or with the other builds that we've done we can just get our snow or stone, whatever you want, whatever colour, anything you want and we can just wrap it around and if you want to add a bit more detail and just say like we've got the rest of the street here that um, does this with the <laughs> sticky out doors so I'm gonna cut here and hopefully when I come back you'll have these middle sections full of glass for high and yep and uh, the corners and above the glass striped pattern with the uh, stone slabs and then we can start with the main building itself all right so i'll see you okay so hopefully you guys have done that now and hopefully it didn't take you too long it took me a night and it's now well nine and a half but with i have german workers on this so they don't have tea breaks they're not british and if you haven't already you need to um double this up because we're gonna be coming well, we're not, no, it doesn't really matter, but uh, it will help you when you're putting the floors in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come to each corner and place a block. I'm going to work on the front, and then you can apply what I do on the front to all four sides, because it's all the same. So we're going to come up four on this, and I'm only going to do one side, because, well, actually, I don't know. Yeah, probably. Um, when I say one side, I mean like one. <laughs> one pillar. So, now we need to come in across this way. Like this. And we're going to go up by 10, 11 times. So, that's 10 blocks, 11 times. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And just take a... This is why it's so easy, because it's all repetitive building. And... If I'm not concentrating, I probably will forget <laughs> what I'm doing. Uh, so, I'm, I don't want to stay quiet whilst I'm building for you guys, though. So that's the thing. Ugh. So, yeah. Come up. 10 blocks, 11 times. And, actually, I'm going to cut because I, I can tell you what to do. So, what you're going to do it is 4, 10, 10, all the way. You're going to do this 10, 11 times up. So that's nice and easy, simple instructions, and I'll see you when... Okay, so hopefully you've done all this lot, and you've got the main frame up. There's only a little bit left to do on this, and that is come to the top, and we're going to put in, in the centre of all of these, four high. That's the main frame done, and I'm not going to fill in the glass, but I'm going to tell you how to fill in the glass. And... That will let you do that. So, once you've done all four of these, nice and simple, just um, drop down to your base, your foundations, and just nice and easy, lay the glass on. All the way up, just like this. Nice and simple. So all the same, all the way around, apart from on the corners, which I'll show you in a second. So, if you do that, if you want to pause now, pause now. 
but I'm going to show you how to do this glass as well. So, um, on the corners, all you have to do is go diagonal. Easy. If we get rid of that. So, like this. So, on the first one, like that. Second one, like this. Third one, we drop back a layer. And again, I probably shouldn't have deleted that. See, like this. Just all the way up like that until you get to the top um, where you should have a 4 on this side and well no, wait, yeah 4 I'm hoping I'm doing I don't think it really matters whether I'm doing this right or not but it should be a 4 I think and then we just come across all the way over to the other pillar like that, and that's why I can go back because I was stuck on it. Um, so yeah, like that. So you've twisted the building. Once you've done the glass, you'll understand what I'm saying. You've twisted the building to look like I think the architect. I can't remember his name. Who was the architect for the building? Um, I I can't remember. But uh, his design for this was a piece of crystal. Or something like that, quartz crystal, and you simply chop off the so uh, soids, corners, <laughs> corners or sides, whatever you want to call them, um, and that leaves you with this shape, which is a nice shape, and the building looks really nice. I really want to go to New York just to see the building itself, but um, pause here now if you have, well, if you need to do the glass. Some of you might have just already done the glass before I was doing all of this, but. If you haven't done the glass, pause now, and if you have, what we're going to do is we're going to layer on our snow or white wall or whatever you're using, and I'm just going to quickly pretend that we have all of our glass going along here. And this is why it helps people to build the building, because you guys would have already done all of this by now, and I'm just stuck here wasting a slight amount of time <laughs> to give you the diagonals so once you have the diagonals in uh, you just need to simply fill in the snow like this and we'll find the center point in a second and that'll be easy so fill in the snow and I'll cut and I'll catch up with you okay so hopefully now you have all your glazing done and you have your flat roof so if you're a computer guy, you you can have stained glass. I just remembered, you don't even have to worry about ice or anything. But here on the console, we don't we don't have anything. We're stuck with just boring glass. So hopefully one day we will though. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna ditch the whiteness and we're gonna get out iron and red wool and some redstone torches. And the rest of the torches are going to go on the corners of your building, just as airplane lights, simply like this. And then we're going to come in uh, six blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to place a block of iron. And we're going to come to either side of that, and then four out, and then do the same again, five, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, oh, four. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four. And we're gonna build this up by three. And if you're familiar with One World Trade Center, you'll see what I'm doing. And that's the little spire antenna thing at the top, not spire. <laughs> spire is a nice part of the building, like on the Burj Khalifa, where it just reaches up to uh, about 200 floors. Um, so let's see what I'm doing in a second and now we're gonna find the center point of this which is here and first we're just gonna get our redstone torches and place them on these bits more airplane lights and as the sun goes down I'm gonna continue into the night just for the effect of the top bit and we're gonna come by 30 with this so two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 
26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And the 30th block might change in a second. But now we need to get rid of the glass. And I remember we need snow here. And we're just going to build a square around it. And then go up by four. Yeah. Uh, four blocks. And then with that, we're going to come up by three. Like this. One, 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 one. And then we're going to wrap another two around the edges of this, like so. And come up by two on this bit as well. So it gives us a kind of base to our um, antenna. And then on the antenna, we're going to miss five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're just going to stick kind of circular thing round. If you want, you can um, make it a bit bigger, like this. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> I haven't done it like this before. Um, will this work? Let's just trial and error with it. <laughs> no, that, nah, I don't know. Does that work? If you guys want to use that, use it. But Ooh, maybe this. No, that wouldn't work. Uh, yeah, just stick to the, the basic of just go around in a ring. And then we're going to go up five again. So two, three, four, five. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. And then just another ring. And one, two, three, four, five. And a ring again. See the pattern here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I do that right? Yes. Uh. And now we can, if we want, get rid of this one. It's all up to you. And we can get rid of that and put a glowstone block on top. And we have an antenna. You can play around with these blocks, obviously. But um, what you want to do now is get your redstone torches and just put them on the edges of these blocks. And we finish in the night because the antenna needs to look good for everything. And we have an empty <laughs> One World Trade Center here now. Uh, and you can just see its general shape and it, it's the perfect size in comparison to Two World Trade Center here. Um, they, well, can't it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll say it is. It might have. It would be in real life a little bit bigger, say up to there, and then we'd have the antenna, but uh, they're still perfect for Minecraft because we don't want to be heading up too high because we want buildings that are still taller than it, obviously, don't we? Um, so, a nice simple build, like I say, and I have started working on some houses, but last time I built a house, like properly, I uh, ended up building an airport terminal. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to try and get some housing tutorials out for you guys. So I just need to get back into these because I've been doing modern um, skyscrapers and stuff for so long that it's just... Some of this stuff goes, you forget how to do it. Um, but I have been Plixton. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And hopefully if you are building the World Trade Centers and the little park they have there these builds have helped you a lot. I haven't built the other buildings that are with these, I've just got these two on my world. Uh, and they are spaced out, one's in District 1 and one's in District 2. So yeah, <laughs> that's why I've never been able to compare them with each other height wise. Uh, so I'm going to end the video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys uh, in the next one. Bye.